So, after going to the film festival this year, the Burning Man Film Festival, and seeing some of the movies, and seeing, you know, there's some great movies, and there's some that aren't so great, and there's one movie called Gifting It that, that was huge for me in kind of helping to understand gifting better, but there's not... I don't think the existing body of Burning Man films do a good job of capturing what I think it to be magic, the kind of things that I was just talking about, the surrender, the connection, the gifting, and the love that we're taught through these, these things. We get the, the, Most filmmakers, I think, get so caught up in the spectacle that it's really hard to find what's beneath that. And I get that. I mean, it took me several years to be able to kind of get, you know, calm down enough to to really start to understand what's going on out there in the desert. So, one, I saw the Burning Man Film Festival. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to make another movie, like a full-length movie, because I could do better than this. It's not always competitive, but sometimes it's like, like sometimes I, I, it's not that I want to do better, it's that I notice that I have been not doing it because I feel not qualified or something like that. So I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to make a movie. And then combined with that, that I've been working with this guy Jake lately, I've done for a couple of years, I've done three now significant video projects for corporate America uh, that with big budgets, well, for me, big budgets, meaning I have a videographer, I have lighting guy, I have sound guy with booms, you know, I have... I, I, I pay to get all the, the interviews that I do transcribed, and then I work with Jake editing it to, to really craft a powerful story from hours and hours and hours of, of footage and B-roll. And so I've been getting better at this, at storytelling through, through film, using a team and using that in that style. Normally what I do myself is I just you know hit record, start typing, and then just kind of edit while I'm stoned late at night. Uh, when I say stoned, what I mean is... Uh, feeling rock steady in my love of life. Um, so I've been building this place with Jake and really realizing um, what I can do when we work together. And then I was like, I wonder if Jake would go to Burning Man and film. Sure, also have his own experience, but have certain times when he's like in videographer mode to capture certain events, interview certain people, to, you know, and then have his fun. And I was like, um, and so I asked him when we, we did the airing of, of this, the video for the, the corporate people. And he was like, give me a ticket, help me out with food. And I'm there. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. And since then, my brain has just been like <laughs> about ideas and what it can be. And, and I mean, I know I can do something awesome. I know it. I know it. That if I commit the resources. I mean, and the reality is, I'm a single guy. I do these corporate jobs every once in a while. So I don't care about... I just bought a new used car. Um, I, I'm okay financially. So I want to put my money, my resources, into making this movie. Maybe I'll do fundraising, but whatever. Point is, this is something that I really think that it's time for me to do and I'm excited about it and I'm, and it's not really going to be I'm still trying to put together what it's all about but I think what the movie is about is what I talked about at the beginning here about the magical lessons that happen out there and how those change people's lives how surrender how connection and how gifting have these ripple effects into the way we see ourselves in the world and the way that we interact with people and the way that we experience joy and enjoy life. And so I want to make my grandpa a part of that because he was a big part of, of helping me to embrace the sacredness of Burning Man because he totally did. And he sent things for me and he gave me his Bible to do a ceremony there. I mean, he so he was a part of, of that for me. I also want to include um, the things that have happened like lately with me of, of the Help the Homeless Project and how that has been this natural flow of burner living. Not in a, oh, let's change the world and do good way, but just in a, I see everyone as a potential to gift. And I see people who are different as people that are in another theme camp. And, hey, your theme camp is low on socks. We have tons of socks. Gift. Not from a, 
we're the best theme camp and we're going to go find other theme camps who could use our, our help. Anyway, so I think that is the movie I want to make. How this experience in the desert is a catalyst for these transformations. And so it won't be about Burning Man, it will, but Burning Man will be the backdrop for bigger lessons of life change, transformation, and rite of passage. Perfect year. What do you think? Would you go to that movie? So actually what I did was, um, oh, sweet. You, Tim just said, you just sold $15 worth of sugar pill music because of your cool ass spoken word beat poem. Yes, yes, yes. See, that's what I want to hear because, you know, my, that's my feeling. And like, dude, like, Use my stuff, especially if you're gonna give me credit, because just it all it all you gift it and affluence comes. I love it. So last night I actually was thinking about this movie and I actually started thinking, okay, I'm I made like a poster for the movie that doesn't exist yet. And it included people that are gonna be in the movie that are not yet in the movie. But they will be because I'm gonna manifest it, right? Or change my mind or the flow will tell me what to do. So here's a little poster I made. I kind of do have a storyboarded, you know? I'm getting there. So it's called The Pink Path, and I'm going to try to zoom in this a little better so I can maybe read some of this. The Pink Path, gratitude, gifting, and grandpa. See, of course, Roger Ebert was nice enough to give me a quote to use there. And uh, it was an official selection of my imaginary film festival. It's funny, you put those little wreaths on, on a poster, and suddenly it looks legitimate. And then the bottom here, in the credits, I've got uh, myself and Grandpa Caleb as uh, featured in the film, as well as Danger Ranger, Andy Grace, uh, Sherry Wheatley, Dimitri Shapiro, The Tuna Guys, Rob Bresney, Gwyneth Paltrow, Michael Beckwith, Larry Harvey, and the Dalai Lama. And then while I was at it, I said, well, who, who did the, um, the soundtrack? Well, that would be Kamenanda, Justin Connor, Stone Train, Jeremy Wineglass, Solovox, Macario Galan, and The Crystal Method. Why not? I think they would be I think they would be wonderful additions to this with this film. And so then the only thing that I'm still kind of like I mean I guess I'll just hope I'll I'll hope it works itself out is what am I going to what am I going to wear to the Oscars? 